This is the AB4WS Radio Show. Every week, bringing you the exciting amateur radio news and information happening in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana areas. The AB4WS Radio Show can be found on the Apple Podcast app or your favorite podcast application. Congratulations to Toby Gardner, KF4LHN, who was recognized by the Moorhead Optimist Club with Respect the Law program for his professional and community work to the citizens of Moorhead, Kentucky area. Thanks again, Toby, for all the great things you do. AF4Y, Roland Brown, the president of the Letcher County Amateur Radio Club, run to thank all the amateur radio operators and members of the club who came out and helped out with the Kentucky Woodsman Butchcrafters meetup in the Mountain Special Event K2B. They made around 50 contacts, and Ms. Carly Sexton made her very first radio contact. QSL cards will be going out to all the contacts that were made. The club gave talks to the group on many ham radio topics like APRS and other aspects of amateur radio. They used their emergency training and this provided them with some experience and do's and don'ts about setting up the trailer for such an event. The local Letcher County Government TV channel interviewed them and lots of participants walked away with door prizes. This successful event, coupled with introducing ham radio to locals and visitors for the event, has made Letcher County Amateur Radio Club a real winner. Congratulations to Dick, WB4SUV, and his XYL Jane, KJ4VCW, who were the winning fox hunting team in the second annual Bluegrass Amateur Radio Club Fox Hunt. While they took first place, everyone who participated in the event had a great time and felt like this was a winning event and are looking forward to next year's event. The Flying Pig Marathon was a great success with over 38,000 runners participating in 10 separate race events. Over 60 amateur radio operators from multiple ham radio groups assisted in providing communications between the course race directors and event operations centers. Some challenges were overcome due to the heat and humidity. Hamilton County Aries was the lead net control providing logistics support, runner status, runner issues, and overall race status. This year they also used new web-based tracking system developed by Ryan, AC for uj plotting the lead runners and sweet progress with real-time aprs data thanks again to all those amateur radio volunteers for another job well done Bill Bryson, KG4DJM of Sadieville, Kentucky, became a silent key on May 22nd. He was a valuable part of the amateur radio community in Scott County and was an active assistant emergency coordinator for Aries in Scott County. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his many family and friends. June 1st through the 16th is the annual Lewis and Clark on the Air operating event. Hope you're working some of the stations involved in this event. For more information, go to ictota.org. Starting at the July meeting, the Okayan Amateur Radio Club is changing the location of their monthly meetings to the Village of Arlington Heights Town Hall at 601 Elliott Street in Cincinnati, Ohio, 45215. Amateur radio volunteers are needed for the annual 4th of July parade in Northside, Ohio. The parade is a very long tradition and very well attended. Communication support is needed from about 10 a.m. to about 2 p.m. This is another great opportunity for you to utilize your ham radio skills, ability, and equipment to serve the public good. If you're interested in helping out, reach out to W8SM at kevin.tribbe at gmail.com. The Monix Group decided to combine meetings at least for the summer, and the Monix meeting for this month will be on June 8th at 6 p.m. at the Northern Kentucky Greater Cincinnati International Airport, Holsher Park, in the shadow of the main control tower at the airport. This shelter is always a great meeting location, and they invite everyone interested in monitoring radio signals to come on out and join them. On June 8th, the Okayan Brunch Bunch will be meeting at 1 p.m. in Monfort Heights Skyline Chili, 5444 North Bend Road, just off I-74. Come on out and join them for some delicious Skyline Chili and ham radio discussion. On Saturday, June 8th at noon, the Triple Nickel Amateur Radio Society will hold their summer bash at K4JTA Jeff's property at 220 Blakemore Lane in Smithfield, Kentucky. There'll be music and swimming and everyone is chipping in on eats. So if you would like to join in on the festivities, reach out to Jeff, K4JTA. Make sure you tune in to 146.670 Okayan Repeater with a PL of 123.0 on June 14th at 7 p.m. for the newcomer in Elmer's Net with Robert K4PKM, who will be talking all about that feed line you use to connect your radio to your antenna. 
On June 17th at 7 p.m., the Northern Kentucky Amateur Radio Club will hold its meeting at the Bethesda Community Church, 989 East Mount Zion Road in Independence, Kentucky. Mark Volstead, AI4BJ, will be telling us all about the wonderful world of amateur radio contesting. Many of the clubs and groups are getting ready for the field day event. Organized for June 22nd and 23rd, the Okayan Amateur Radio Society is certainly one of them. They'll be moving to a new location this year, and they've been scoping out the location, and they think it's going to be an even better site than the previous one. If you're interested in joining the Okayan Field Day group, reach out to Eric, N8YC, who is organizing the event. The Bluegrass Amateur Radio Society will be setting up at the Howe Farm Park, 3551 Briar Hill Road in Lexington, Kentucky. The Northern Kentucky Amateur Amateur Radio Club will host Field Day at the Lincoln Ridge Park in Independence, Kentucky. The Field Day coordinator is Michael, K-E-8-P-L-M, who is collecting information and resources on volunteers for Field Day. If you're interested in NKARC Field Day, go to k4co.org and sign up. Another great event to volunteer for is the Paddle Fest, where amateur radio operators provide communications for safety and logistics for the big Paddle Fest event on the Ohio River. This year, the Paddle Fest will be held on August 3rd, 2024. There are positions both on the river and on the shore. If you'd like to volunteer for this fun event, email Rick, KD4PYR, at KD4PYR at ARRL.net. The Murray State University Amateur Radio Club, K4MSU, has announced the particulars on this year's 5th anniversary Kentucky Parks on the Air contest to be held on August 10, 2024 from 1400 hours UTC to 2200 hours UTC. For the particular modes, bands, rules, and other information, go to k4msu.com slash kypota. The Air Force Marathon is looking for a few good hams to volunteer to provide communications assistant for the event on Saturday, September 21st, in the area of the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. For more information or to volunteer, email Bob N880 at AFM.HAMS at gmail.com. Hamfests. On July 20th is the third annual Astabula Ham Fest at the Pioneer Picnic, 1809 Middle Road in Pierpoint, Ohio. Talking on the 146.895 repeater with a PL of 141.3. On July 21st is the Van Wert Ham Fest at the Van Wert County Fairgrounds, 1055 South Washington Street in Van Wert, Ohio. For more information, go to w8fy.org. August 3rd is the Columbus, Ohio Ham Fest at the Aladdin Shrine Center, 1801 Gateway Circle in Grove City, Ohio. August 10th is the Cincinnati Ham Fest at the Claremont County Fairgrounds in Owensville, Ohio. For more information, see MilfordHamRadio.org. August 18th is the Warren Ham Fest at the Trumbull County Fairgrounds, 899 Everett Hall Road in Cortland, Ohio. Talking on 146.970 repeater. Are you looking to upgrade your license? Do you have someone else that's interested in the hobby? Here are some upcoming exam opportunities. The Milford Amateur Radio Club holds amateur radio testing on the third Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. at the Miami Township Civic Center, 6101 Mire Drive in Milford, Ohio. Please pre-register at MilfordHamRadio.org. The Dayton Amateur Radio Association has exams frequently. For their exam schedule, email exams.w8bi at gmail.com. June 8th, the Westchester Amateur Radio Association will hold an amateur radio exam session at 10 a.m. at the Voice of America Museum, 8070 Tylersville Road in Westchester, Ohio. Pre-registration is required at hamstudy.org slash sessions slash WC8VOA. On June 8th at 10 a.m., there was an amateur radio license exam session scheduled at the Georgetown Police Department in Georgetown, Kentucky. But wait, there is a location change for that exam session. It will now be at the Faith Baptist Church, 116 Pocahontas Trail in Georgetown, Kentucky. Please pre-register at hamstudy.org slash sessions slash WX4GPS. On June 10th at 6.30 p.m., the Cuyahoga Falls Amateur Radio Club is having an amateur radio exam session at the Cuyahoga Falls Public Library, 2025 2nd Street in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Pre-register by emailing education at cfarc.org. On June 17th, the Northern Kentucky Amateur Radio Club will host an amateur radio exam session at 5.30 p.m. at the Bethesda Community Church, 989 East Mount Zion Road in Independence, Kentucky. You must register by emailing Mark Volstead, AI4BJ at MVOLSTAD at TWC.com. On June 25th at 6 p.m., the amateur radio testing session will be held at Anderson County Extension Building. Use the rear entrance, lower level, 1026 County Park Road in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. For more information, contact Brian Carter, KI4TLW at 502-545-0376. 
On July 13th, the Westchester Amateur Radio Association will hold an amateur radio exam session at 10 a.m. at the Voice of America Museum, 8070 Tylersville Road in Westchester, Ohio. Please pre-register at hamstudy.org slash sessions slash WCA-VOA. On July 13th at 10 a.m., an amateur radio exam session will be held at the Clark County Emergency Operations Center, 200 Maryland Drive in Winchester, Kentucky. Please pre-register at hamstudy.org slash session slash AC4YD. For more information, contact Daryl Epperson, AC4YD at 859-771-1834. On July 23rd at 6 p.m., an amateur radio testing session will be held at the Anderson County Extension Building. Use the rear entrance, lower level 1026 County Park Road in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. For more information, contact Brian Carter, KI4TLW at 502-545-0376. On Saturday, July 27th at 10 a.m., the Wilderness Road Amateur Radio Club will sponsor an amateur radio license exam session at the American Legion Post Number 46, 45 Spears Lane in Danville, Kentucky. Pre-register at hamstudy.org slash sessions. For more information, contact Harold Miller, AF6MB, at 541-602-6535. Special thanks to this week's content contributors, KE4WA, KY4GW, WB8YYS, KD8ZLD, K9HIO, N8LAR, K4NKU. If you have something you think other amateur radio operators in the area would be interested in, send the information or your recorded audio file attached in an email to ab4ws.radio at gmail.com. Covering your amateur radio news and information in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana tri-state area. This is Jack Prindle, AB4WS in Big Bone, Kentucky.